friends welcome back to the channel my name is martina parker today we're going to be doing a kind of look and see review of the prada chocolate brushed leather loafers and the prada enameled triangle pin which is a brooch so um let's go back i bought these uh i had gift card money for my birthday and i had been looking for something to spend it on and so uh bay and i were in uh sacks and i was like that is something that i think i would want i had been wanting a pair of loafers um to replace a pair that i already owned and i wanted something a little bit more fashion forward and so i picked up these this is the chocolate I don't know why they call it the chocolate because they come in brown but this is the chocolate brush leather loafer and it is a shinier leather i really like it they are super comfortable they fit so well and they have just a little bit of lift to them they're very men styled and that's what i was looking for when i was going for a loafer and i wanted something that would be great for the transitional weather very easy to wear slip on affordable for what a luxury loafer is pretty affordable so um let me tell you a little bit about what the brand says about the shoes these emphasized by the iconic enameled triangle logo oh let's do it like that from Prada um, they're brush leather traditionally used in classic fine footwear and reinterpreted in Prada collections on unexpected designs for a hybrid result that reflects the quality of the brand the notched effect of the welt around the shoe gives it a hand crafted touch and this is welting that leather this is welting in the sole so um they are all leather they have an enameled metal triangle logo um they are 50 millimeters of rubbered mono block sole with hot stamp logo so this is the and this is what makes the shoe so good this is like a rubber so when i say it is shock absorbent easy to walk in and very comfortable they are they're a little dirty because i have worn them but this is what they're talking about about the hot and stamped logo and they um like i said are all leather they're still available they had stopped being available from about october to january and then they came back in stock so they are available if you're looking to purchase them they are not cheap but again in the way of expensive footwear they're pretty affordable at a thousand fifty notice how i just brushed by that thousand fifty but i had gift card money from um a friend who gave me a really great gift card for my birthday so i only paid about half of that for the loafers so i love that they are again this rubberized sole so they're they're very very comfortable and then they were just super simple to style so as soon as i got them i already knew exactly how i wanted to wear them so the next day Bay was taking me somewhere and I was able to wear them the very next day. And that is how you know something fits a gap in your wardrobe that as soon as you get it, you can like bam, style it right away and start wearing them and enjoying them. That's how you know for sure that this item is a staple or will become a staple in your wardrobe. So I'm just gonna show you a few ways that I have styled her. So I'm gonna pop that video up for there like I normally do. This is, was a super simple, easy look. I just went with an oversized white striped tunic. This is a high-low tunic from Ashley Stewart, some sparkly jewelry to match an Hermes ring to bring in another brand. And then uh, these little capri type ankle pant has pearl embellishment on the leg, which gave a little detail pointing right down to that shoe. And this was the look paired with a little coach bag. I really thought that this was easy breezy, super simple and very, very comfortable. And, it, and I didn't have to think a whole, whole lot about how to style it. I then came up with a couple of trench coat looks because it is um, these are my transitional shoes during the um, winter to springtime. And so I picked another look. This look, I've just taken the brooch, which I'm going to talk about later. I've taken the brooch and put it on this hat and then added a trench coat 
all black underneath. This is a black bodysuit with the stirrups at the bottom. And yes, plus size girls can wear bodysuits. I just know how, what parts of my body I want exposed. So I chose to drape a jacket or a coat over the bodysuit to give me ample coverage. And then pop the shoes on and a Chanel bag. Very simple. It's a great rainy day look because of the hat and the coat. And it was ready to walk out the door. Very simple styling with this. It doesn't take a whole lot to make these loafers um, work in your wardrobe. And then finally, for the uh, loafer, I'm gonna show you this look. I have on this cap from The Gap. I actually thrifted this plaid cap. And some snake earrings, a white tee, some uh, blue, and these are blue jean ankle jeans and popped a little bag, a watch. That's a good watch. It's a vintage um, Dolce & Gabbana watch. And there you have it, a nice outfit ready to go. It doesn't take much. The coach bag was very affordable. So overall, this is a very affordable look. If you are interested in the trench coat, the trench coat comes from H&M, the T and jeans were thrifted and the cap as well. And there you have it, a nice affordable luxury look for less. So let's go on and start talking about how I styled the brooch. So let me give you a little information about the brooch. It's a contemporary interpretation of an 80s trend. And I don't know if you were an 80s baby, but I was. And during the 80s, everybody had the Prada um, bucket hat with the Prada logo on it. It was so it if you had one and so they are revamping that but they're revamping it in a style that we can use and make more versatile and so this is the brooch and it is a silver Prada brooch I love this brooch and how it cleans up so good it is just such a great styling option and you can use it for anything it is leather so the brooch is actually leather so this metallic leather and then this is a metal emblem on that leather it's not too big it's not too small it's just the right size to be very comfortable and look elevated when with whatever you're wearing it with so i really am enjoying the brooch it comes in different sizes i mean different colorways so it comes in an all black i got it in the metallic silver it comes in a green safiana leather or orange safiana leather a silver safiana leather as well and then they also have taken this they've made it hair clips they've done different things with it so if you're not interested in a brooch they've made it into a bolo tie they've made it into the hair clip so that you can figure out what works best for your um, versatility as well as your cost per wear. A brooch is always gonna be better for me cost per wear because I just wear brooches everywhere. I love them, I put them on headbands, I put them on hats, I put them on jackets, coats, I pin my collar with them. I just use them everywhere. So it was always a smart move for me to go brooch. So let's talk about some of the ways that I styled the brooch since I have owned it. This was a fun way. I have used this um, cap that Bay got me for a Halloween costume and it's a sequence police cap. Loved it. And I paired the brooch right on top of that. Kept the outfit very, very simple. It's a little bit like a cop, but I, but I made it a little bit more fun with the bag with the little pop of color on the strap. So that is one way that I styled the brooch. And then I'll show you an additional way that I styled the brooch that actually is the way I probably will wear it moving forward. And it is with this beautiful blue trench coat. I put the brooch on the trench and um, just kept everything else simple, simple silver earrings, simple lip, um, all black underneath. And then also with the Prada loafers. And then I wanted a little bit of pop, so I went with my enameled silver and black, uh, I think there's a snake or a lion or a tiger. I know it wasn't a bear, but whatever that bracelet is, it's an animal uh, head bracelet and a diamondique bracelet. And then a silver bag by Coach, that's the Coach Tabby in 18. So it doesn't take a whole lot 
to style these items but they are really great if you're looking to elevate your transitional wardrobe with some new items and when i tell you these shoes are so super comfortable they are my go-to loafer during the transitional season because they work so well with so many of my looks and they will probably work with looks um even into the spring and into the summer if i wanted to do a denim look in the summertime maybe a bralette and a uh, kimono and some short shorts and these loafers i think it could work so thanks so much for watching i hope all of these items are something that you would think about adding to your collection maybe not in prada it could be in any brand it could be in no brand but just the compilation of adding those things in will help you and if you're interested the price of the brooch is very affordable for a luxury brooch it is $2.95 most of my Chanel brooches are well into the fives and six hundred dollars so for a brand uh for a designer brooch I am loving these at the $2.95 price point and we'll probably pick up another one probably in the yellow um, because then I can pair that and offset some of my green tones in the spring. So thanks so much for watching. I hope this is enjoyable and I would like to know what are you going to add to your wardrobe this transitional season to give it just a little bit of luxe. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.